My name is Nicholas Brathwaite. I'm a graduate at McMaster University, and I'm currently a private equity and venture capital investor. For me personally, for most of my career, I've been known as a, an entrepreneur, a technologist, and a business executive. Today, I'm known primarily as, as an investor, but I still, to some extent, think of myself as a technologist, an entrepreneur, and a, and a business executive. And even in the way I approach investment, I tend to be a fairly active investor. I like to get involved in the companies in which we invest and, and try to help. In every business that I've started, the key for me was putting together the best team I, that I can. And usually it involves trying to convince people who are very happy working where they are to leave what they're doing and come and join you. But it's something that's necessary. And you have to be able to tell your story in a way that get people excited about what it is you're trying to do. Going to a top school where you, you were taught the fundamentals and really understood, in my case, understood technology and understand how technology worked, helped me to be able to apply technology to solve problems. And so in, in every business that I've started, I saw technology as a tool. It was never technology for technology's sake, but technology was a tool to solve a problem. And having that fundamental understanding of technology and, and having the depth and quality of education that you get from schools such as McMaster helped to prepare you to be able to go take on those kinds of challenges and also gave you the self-confidence to be able to tackle problems that other people thought were not solvable. I think if the goal is to help foster, develop, or enhance an entrepreneurship culture within the university, there are a few things that are very important. One is focusing not only on the theoretical knowledge, but the application of this theoretical knowledge. Also preparing people to be able to identify what a problem looks like and how do you apply your knowledge to solve such problems. You know, over the past few years, technologists have done a fantastic job helping to improve standard of living and make things convenient. But in the future, many of the opportunities for entrepreneurship will come from trying to serve people in developing countries. And entrepreneurs will have to start focusing on, not just on how do you make life convenient or more convenient for people in developed countries, but also how you improve the quality of life for the majority of people in the world who do not live in developed countries. And so when we talk about expanding a culture, or building a culture, whatever terms we want to use, we need to make sure that we don't limit the student's vision only to the environments in which they are being educated. McMaster has an opportunity to impact the socioeconomic landscape, not just in North America, but in regions way far away from North America, with students coming from Asia and Africa and Latin America and the Caribbean and others. And I think McMaster has a global responsibility to help develop people who can go back to their countries and regions and make a difference where they're from.